All right, flipped geometry. We're going to be talking today about how to construct things. And when you think about the word construction, you probably think of building and putting together a house and sort of the same idea, step-by-step -step careful actions to produce an object when you're done. Uh, we're talking today about the difference between how to sketch, how to draw, and how to construct. And we're going to give you some beginning constructions. So let's get into it. The first thing we want to cover is the difference between a sketch and a drawing. A sketch is something you do freehand only with the pencil, uh, or if I'm doing it on the board, it's only with the marker. And these are quick um, representations of an idea. We don't get all hung up on is the line razor straight. We don't get all hung up on do all the points meet exactly the way that they're supposed to. It's just to get an idea on paper or on the board so we can talk about it. Um, a drawing is more carefully done. A drawing is kind of the in-between level of accuracy. Here you might use a ruler, or you might at least try to draw a very straight line. Um, here you would make sure that all the points intersect correctly um, and you would label all of your points. So the here I have a, an example of just a quick sketch. Here this is a drawing. It's more accurate. You might have used a ruler and um, you make sure that everything lines up the right way. You might represent things that are before or behind with dashed lines. So it's more exact. When we have a drawing, we can assume various things. We can correctly assume collinearity and betweenness of points. So if points are between other points in a drawing, then we say, yeah, those points belong there. Um, we can correctly assume that the intersections of lines are properly represented and that the lines are straight. Okay, so that's a drawing. Um, it's not necessarily accurate on a drawing to take a protractor and measure what you've drawn and, may, and then say, well, this angle is this. Um, because it's not that accurate, right? Perpendicular lines don't meet exactly at 90 degree angles, possibly, and parallel lines are not necessarily perfectly drawn as parallel. This is you with a ruler doing a, a good job drawing, but not necessarily using the highest degree of precision, okay? That's different uh, from a construction, which we'll see in a moment. So here's our first example. We want to state whether each statement can be assumed from the drawing. So point V is between Y and W. If we look here, V is between Y and W. And a drawing would say yes. This is accurate enough in a drawing to say, yeah, V is between Y and W. Okay. Angle W, Z, Y is a right angle. Angle W, Z, Y is a right angle. Well, it looks like it could be. But this is, if this is a drawing and not a construction, then we shouldn't take a protractor to it. Okay, so we can't assume that. Wx is parallel to yz. Wx and yz, are they parallel? Well, they look like they are, but we can't tell for sure on a drawing. Okay, wz, the segment zw is congruent to the segment zy. Um, we don't know that for sure. It looks like it may be true, but we can't know that unless we were to have a construction, a more careful uh, representation. So these, uh, this is the first thing and the only thing that we can assume from the drawing. The rest of them, we can't do that from a drawing. We need to have a construction, okay? So let's get into what a construction. Constructions are different than drawings because they are done with a ruler and with a compass, uh, but we don't use the ruler for measuring. We only use the ruler to make straight lines. The compass is used for all measurements, and the reason for that is that on a ruler, the graduations um, will make you want to round to the nearest graduation. And so you're going to be looking at the ruler and saying, oh, it's at this line. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's near it, but not on it. And then when you draw the next thing, you make it go right to that line, right? And then you've got an inaccurate representation. So a compass, we can put the, the pencil and the point of the compass on exactly the length that we need, and then carry that physical object over and make a line with the compass, and it's exactly the same distance. Okay, so use compasses to mark and measure. Um, here's examples of good and bad constructions. When you do a construction, you don't want to put a dot over uh, hash marks that you make with the compass because the dot allows you to fudge, and it might cover up inaccuracies. Um, this line that was drawn, and it's supposed to hit that intersection, if you make that dot big enough, it might look like it hit the intersection, but it didn't. So in a construction, don't dot over hash marks. Just use the marks of the compass as the indicated points, okay? And make sure that everything is neat and accurate and straight and hits all the points you're supposed to. And if it doesn't, erase and start over. 
okay? How do you construct a circle? Well, if you're given point A and point B and you're supposed to construct, construct a circle with that particular radius, then you put the point of the compass here, put the pencil of the compass on B, and you arc around and make the circle, okay? Pretty simple stuff. Um, how do you copy a segment? Um, well, you would use a compass and you're supposed to m make a segment of exactly the same length as MN. So you put the point of the compass here, put the pencil of the compass here, make a hash mark to demonstrate that you've hit the mark. Then draw a straight line, label point P, and say, okay, I'm going to put the point of the compass there. I'm going to make another hash mark so that it crosses Q. Um, and this is the indication. So this distance is exactly the same as this distance, and you use a compass to carry that distance over. Okay, and you don't have to put a dot here, you don't have to erase these lines. This is good enough. This is the construction. This is the distance, okay? If you want to erase the rest of that line because it's not needed, that's okay. How do you copy an angle? Well, if I have angle A, and I want to measure and reconstruct angle X, what you do is you take this measurement, uh, or sorry, you, you take your compass, you put your point of the compass on A, and you make an arc of a particular radius down uh, angle A, and you create points B and C. You take that same measurement on your compass, and you indicate point X. This is going to be the vertex of the new angle. And I use the compass to mark this, right? Same distance. Now I've found point Y. Now I take my compass, and I put a point here, and I measure how far across to B. And I make a hash mark with my compass to say this is how far it is from C to B. Now I take my compass and I put it on my new point Y and I hash around over here um, to create a distance for Z. Okay, and now I can construct X and Z. And I, that's it. <laughs> so that's the end of it. Constructions are not the end of the world. Uh, we'll do a bunch of them in class, and you will, uh, you will, I'm sure, succeed. So let me know if you have any questions when we all get back together. We'll practice this a bunch. It's more doing than teaching. Um, and until then, God bless you. Jesus loves you, and so do I.